Hey everybody, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing really, really well. So today I'm gonna be opening up the Peak Design Travel Tripod. I bought this tripod a while back and I've been waiting to do a video about it, kind of talking about some of the features that I like about it, what I plan to use it for, and pretty much could just go over the whole tripod. And this is just basically what another photographer needs, just another tripod that makes my collection up to three right now. Probably end up either selling one or giving one away. But I'll get into that a little bit further, why I got this tripod. I'm just gonna go over it in full detail from the box to the packaging, to the uh, bag that it comes with it, to the tripod itself. And hopefully I'll cover everything if you're interested in this tripod. I'll leave a link to the, uh, in the description of the video for this tripod if you do purchase it through that link. I get a small commission. It doesn't really change the price of the tripod. It just helps me out a little bit to keep making these videos. But if you have any questions about this tripod as well, just leave me a comment on this video. I'm happy to get to it. So just uh, looking at the box itself, it's really not a very big box. It's, they did a good job in the packaging to keep it very minimal, not wasted space, not excessive packaging for no reason. You get some information about the tripod here on the front and on the sides you get some pictures and some more information as well here and the big design logo and it just opens up here at the top. And as you can see, it's very tightly fitted in there. So there's really no, no wasted space. So once you take out the tripod out of the box, I'm just gonna set this aside. Comes in this uh, neat little bag and it's the same kind of color and fabric as the messenger bag and the Peak Design messenger bag, if you're familiar with that, it looks quite the same. It's got the Peak Design logo. It's got a little handle here, and it's got two hooks on the edge here. If you want to attach the strap, the Peak Design strap to it and carry it on your shoulder, you can use it. You can use that. So, and it, once you want to open up the tripod, you can un just unzip the zipper here. It comes up about maybe a little under halfway of the side of the bag. Once you open it up, you can take out the tripod. And I'm just gonna set that here, close this up. Before I actually get into the tripod, I'm gonna just talk a little bit about the bag. Inside here you have a small pouch with a little tool inside if you wanna use it for maintenance. You have a little pouch here. Other than that, it's pretty basic for the, for the, for the bag. Now the tripod itself, it's really, really tiny once I have it in my hand, kinda light. And this is kind of one of the reasons I like about it is the fact that it, it's really, really small, really, really light. I mean, this is the carbon fiber one. It doesn't, they do do one in aluminum as well. And just to kind of show you scale-wise how big this is, this is my arm. You can see from my elbow to my arm. It's about the size of that. So it's really, really small compared to my other tripods. Usually I carry two tripods, one for landscape photography and one for the videos for YouTube. And they're usually bulky and they take a long time to set up and stick out of the bag. And plus when you're carrying two tripods, it's kind of crazy having that weight. So having a small tripod that's small in size, not too heavy. This is what I plan to use it for, mainly for video. But you can use this as well to put your photo camera on it and take pictures. I'm sure it's really, really sturdy. So going over the tripod first, you get a little tool here. If you wanna do some tightening of the balls or something, it clips on the one of the legs. But if you're using the tripod without you know, the bag and you're gonna be hiking with it, probably better to put this in your backpack just to keep it safe from falling out. But it seems like it's pretty secure there, but just to be on the safe side, I recommend that. And it's, this is like the carbon fiber one. You get um, four, segments here to kind of clips that unclip all at once to kind of undo the tripod. And it's pretty fast to open it, I find. And when you want to close it up, you just kind of undo all four and push it back in. And you can lock all four at the same time. So it's very simple to open it. What I plan to use this for, I probably will leave the camera attached to the, to the tripod on the tripod itself. And I can just kind of record if I'm doing any talking and walking like that. If I want to deploy the tripod, when I'm doing those walking shots, I can just open up the tripod really quick, set it up, do my shot, and then close it up and keep walking or keep it open and walk with it. 
I'll decide the stuff in the field, but just having something small, it's not very cumbersome. Definitely for me, it's, it's appealing, you know? The unique thing about this tripod is that they made it in a way that it's really compact. They even redesigned the ball head to fit really snug to the, to the top of the tripod where the legs start, you know? Basically what you do is you, you have a little knob here, you pull it back, you undo it, and you can lift the center column here just a little bit in order to access the ball head. And with one unlocking mechanism, you can rotate the ball head any direction you want and then lock it back up to where you want. To me, I quite like that, that it's really minimal, but I don't like the idea of raising the center column to kind of access this, but I do get why it's designed this way. It's just so it minimizes the size of the tripod. Usually like all the ball heads, they stick out above the, above the legs and they're kind of bulky and they get caught on stuff. So this is, in a way I get why it's designed that way, but you know, I, I always don't like to have that extended, but you can just extend it just a little bit and then you can access it. So it's not that big a deal, but just one thing to consider. But other than that, the motion on the ball head itself is really, really smooth when you're kind of turning it. And it's so simple to lock and unlock. Same mechanism is for removing the tripod. You have a little clip here and you have a turning wheel that locks the plate in place. So when you unlock it, you can actually remove the plate right here. And when you want to lock it back, it's just as simple as that. And you lock it back by just twisting it back. So it's really, really convenient and easy to just do pretty much everything. You do have two small metals here to keep the plate in mind. You can actually unscrew these as well with one of the tools that they gave you. If you want to use an L bracket on your camera, they do come in the way, the way it's set up right now, but you can easily remove those. And with this tripod as well, you can adjust the legs at an angle like so, or you can have it just normal, have it straight. So I'm gonna just open it up here and set it and talk about some of the features that I noticed on the tripod. You do get a bubble, a bubbling level on the tripod, so it's also included. You get rubber, rubber legs, so it seems like they're really secure, so it doesn't slip or anything, and you can actually change the, these rubbers for pretty much anything. You can put like spikes or something, but these are extra, you have to buy them. And one thing neat about this tripod is that sometimes if you want a quick picture or if you want to do a quick selfie or a quick photo of you with a camera bag or something, you can easily remove this hook here that used, that's used to hold your bag down. It's good that they include a hook because some tripods don't even have a hook. So just to have that, it's really, really nice. You do get a small cell phone holder here that you can expand any way you want and it attaches on the bracket itself. So you remove the plate and you can attach it in its place and it sits neatly back in and it attaches by a magnet. Plus I don't, I don't see it kind of falling out too easily because you kind of have to do a bunch of things to undo the, the hook is you have to pull down, twist and pull out. So there's no way by accident you're gonna lose that. But then again, I haven't really tested that. Other than that, it's really, really light as a tripod. I really like it. And just to give you some information about the tripod, there is on the inside here, it's written some information about it. It says travel tripod, compact ball head, five segments total, 150 centimeters max height. And it says carbon fiber on the inside. Also, there's a few more information about this tripod on the side of the packaging here. It said when it's uh, fully closed up, it's about 15.2 inches, 38.5 centimeter in height from top to bottom. And it's about 3.1 inches, 7.9 centimeter when it's the diameter, when it's closed up. And the weight of the tripod itself, it's 1.29 kilogram or 2.8, 2.81 pounds. And this is the carbon fiber information. So the max weight that this can handle, it says it's 9.1 kilogram or 20 pounds. When fully extended up without the center column, just when the, the ball head is flush with the top of the tripod, it's a 131 centimeter height or 51.6 inches. When it's fully extended with the center column all the way up, it's 153 centimeter or 60.2 inches. And when you remove the center column, which you can and leave this tiny bit here, 
you can actually have it as low as 14.2 centimeter or 5.6 inches. So it's kind of neat that, you know, you can actually also do that. You can set it up really low if you want. If you want to remove the center column, you have that option. So that's kind of it for this tripod. One more thing about it that you do have kind of like small hooks here where you can actually loop the Peak Design clips and you can attach the strap to it. So if you want to carry this tripod without the back, you can do so. I think this covers pretty much all the features I like about this tripod. If I forgot anything, if you have any questions specific, just let me know. But one of the main things I like about this tripod that I'm going to use it for is I want to use this with my uh, Shimoda bag. I'm going to show you, for example, just going to have the bag here. So this is a Shimoda bag right here. Usually I would carry a tripod on each side. And usually the tripod I have, it would just be like reaching up to here in terms of height. So it's always sticking out. Sometimes it gets caught up on other branches or stuff. So with this tripod, when I have it set up here, it doesn't go further outside the bag. Even any, most of the bag, it would just be fitting really, really snugly on that. And one other thing that I like that you can actually do, I have the bag right here. And you know you have the strap here for the handle and I have a small little loops here as well that I can actually put the tripod strap through this loop here on the top and clip it to, the, to my Shimoda bag. So it's just sitting there all the time and I can do the bottom one as well. And the way it works is just, it, it's, like, it's like exact perfect size that I can just clip this like this. So it's always sitting attached, it's not going anywhere. And if I don't want to damage the tripod when I'm hiking with it, I can just put it in the bag and you know, zip it up all the way when I'm not using it. So it's protected inside the bag like that. And it's look how much, it doesn't stick out above the bag. It doesn't take that much room and it's tight and secure. And what I can do whenever I want to access the tripod, I just unzip it. I can open this up and take the tripod out and not worry about this because it just, it stays attached to the strap. I use the tripod whenever I want and it doesn't get damaged and you take care of it for a long time. So I definitely like the way this is set up that I can actually do this quick installation and I don't have to worry about, you know, what I'm going to do with the, with the bag of the tripod because usually when you have those tripod bags, they're really, you know, they're big, you take them out of the bag and you never know what to do with them after. This way, it's like as if it's made specifically for that reason. And it works really well with my Shimoda bag, but I'm pretty sure that can work with any bag that you can strap a tripod on the side. But most of them have two straps, but just the way, the lengthwise, with the Shimoda design, with the Shimoda Action X, it's perfect, you know? So I'm really happy about that, the way that worked out. Like it's just an extension of my bag. As I say, the two go really well together. And I'm blabbering about this because it excites me, stuff like that. So I kind of wanted to share this one feature with you that I found really, really useful with the combination of the two. So I'm just going to leave that on there because might as well, right? <laughs> just going to put this back. Again, if you have any questions about this tripod, leave me a comment on this video. I'm happy to get to it. If you do decide to purchase this tripod, you find my video helpful, use the link in the description of the video. Give me a small commission. It doesn't really change the price. It just helps me out a tiny bit. Thank you everyone for coming along and until next time, cheers.